with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O God. At that time, Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hears his voice, and he calls his own, his own sheep by name, and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the ship. All who come before me, who came before me, are thieves and robbers. But the ship did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. I will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, my sins be wiped away. Amen. Um, for the benefit of those joining us on Facebook, I realize your own broadcast was slightly put on hold at the beginning of the Mass. My introduction, I did say that this Mass is a Mass of blessing of human labor. It is a very special Mass for us because this is the Good Shepherd Week and by the grace of God, it is a week of divine provision and sustainability. Just as we've heard in the Gospel, one of the things that the Good Shepherd does is to call his sheep by name, lead them out, and the sheep follow him. And of course, in line with Psalm 23, he leads them to pasture and also leads them to flowing waters. He takes care of the sheep and is ready to take risks Beloved friends, this new week is so special because from the realm of the Spirit, the Lord has already prepared the way for you. He has sent His angels ahead of you. It is a special verse we pray for every member of a better global ministry worldwide, wherever you are. Even if you are not partnering with us officially, but you come upon this video, you are blessed. Just as the first reading was taking place, the Lord just said to me, Son, don't forget to pray for those my children who have been having some midnight battles. There are some of you, as the Lord showed me, once it is about the hour of 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., crisis starts. And this crisis will not end until about the hour of 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And you keep battling. So the best part of your night is spent in battle in sickness. You keep struggling. And now, because you are joining us in this Mass, I want to declare that warfare ended. God delivers you from that affliction. In fact, because you are joining me in this Mass, and because you are connected to this very altar, I join my faith with yours, and we stop the activities of the wicked ones around your environment. You can't be awake and joining this Mass, and the evil people will be able to operate. No, 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 no. When the perfect comes, the imperfect goes away. The lesser power always submits. The word of God says that when those days, the mountain of the heart of the house of the Lord shall tower above every other mountain. It is the dwelling place of God, and so God is here. And by the blood of the cross of Jesus Christ, I discharge from this altar the blessings that will settle every matter in your life 
I speak to your hands. That is very weak, whatever your hand touches to do. Whether you are a business person, a career person, whether you work in the offices, I declare you blessed. Your hands Amen. are filled with the blessings of the Lord. Even if you are a student, you will have the best of experiences this week in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray Amen. for your health first, and I pray that your paths will cross this very week. Because Amen. one thing I am so sure, and one thing the Good Shepherd has told us in the Gospel is that the sheep recognize his voice, and he knows his sheep, and he calls them by them. Therefore, as people shall be called for blessing this week, your name shall never be omitted in the name of Jesus Christ. For those Amen. who are going to make sales this week, your name must be included if you are a business person. In this very Amen. much equally, there is an intention that came in urgently, which I want to quickly take up. An intention came in here about God with Musa, he is a benefactor of St. Vincent de Paul, somewhere in Kuwa. Then he's been kidnapped, and so we pray that God will intervene and see to his release and speedily too, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for everybody in a dying situation. As I am praying, there is a name that is popping up right here on Facebook and which I want to quickly bring. This is Zukuchire Duke Gabriel. Gabe, you are joining us. I pray for you that God will extend his healing hand upon you and whatever it is that is troubling you at this very moment you are joining this Mass, that God will handle it for you. Same thing with you, Ginger and Ibezim and Aldo, Oluwa Kemi, Antonia Uche, all of you. May the Lord God in his love and mercy take care of your concerns in the name of Jesus Christ. And so Amen. back again to the gospel, something happens to Peter. Peter had a vision. And he protested when he was asked to eat the contents of the basket. Now the vision was about the house of Cornelius. And so God wanted to do something for Cornelius. God gave Cornelius a vision of Peter and God also went and gave Peter a vision, which is the, the context of the first reading. And so you see how God is the matchmaker, how God arranges things. And so, so that by the time Peter met Cornelius and Cornelius saw Peter, it wasn't strange again because in the realm of the spirit, these things were already settled. And that's the blessing I want to pray for you and release upon you. That God will begin to give your helpers godly ideas about you. God will begin to present you to those whom he will use to help you. And God Amen. will also reveal who your helpers are to you so that the moment your paths cross you recognize yourselves in the name of jesus christ so in other words by reason of this week nobody no helper has an excuse not to help you because this client as we pray you're now already having some dreams some visions about you i'm more interested of those ones we call the unwilling helpers Something tells them that they should help you, but then they struggle to know it shouldn't be you. And they will have reasons for which they feel it shouldn't be blessed. It might be just their personal idiosyncrasies, or their, maybe their experience of you in the past, or not even having a personal experience of you, but maybe with your parents or people or your background and stuff like that. There are some tribal sentiments and stuff like that. So even when the person feels feels that you should be helped, but when the person remembers who you are or where you come from, that becomes a hindrance. In the name of Jesus, that obstacle is taken away. 
Amen. I said in the name of Jesus, that obstacle is taken away. Amen. Part of the problem Peter had was for him how he was going to get to the Gentiles. And even after he got there, you saw some people also trying to abuse him and to quarrel with him. Why did you go over? So you have been mingling with these people. So in other words, what can break the barriers? What can bring down the walls between you and your helper? Especially the wall of ethnic differences, religion differences, locational differences, even the skin color. The Holy Ghost has the power. The same way the Holy Ghost intervened and made Peter to cross over and made Peter to leave his personal biases and get over and then that house was placed. That is the same way God will break down every barrier. Whatever has been keeping your helpers from locating you, that which is like a veil, those veils are removed today by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Another thing is that by the time this happens, of course, automatically there will be some antagonist people who would like to question the new dimension of you or where God is taking you to. When they show up, may the Lord provide answers in Jesus' name. Peter did not Amen. lack defense. Peter did not lack what to say. And he said, oh, do you know what? Before I could open my mouth to speak, they were already filled with the Holy Spirit, the same thing that we enjoyed. So in other words, what other people have enjoyed before you, it doesn't matter when you are coming in. <laughs> My people say, don't dare, in them, in them. What, what does that say? There are blessings you would have enjoyed that have been delayed, but one thing is that by the time the blessing comes, it's going to be the same kind of blessing. It's going to be the same kind of breakthrough. And that is why we normally, that is why the favorite prayer and psalm of this ministry is Psalm 90 verse 15. It says, give us joy to balance our affliction for the years we have known misfortune. So God is a God that compensates. He's a God that balances. He's a God that knows how to bless you in such a way that you forget your past and your pain. And so for those of you who are expectant and joining us tonight, for those of you who are believing God for one thing or the other and you are here in this Mass, I want to know that this week begins a week and a new season of divine provision and sustainability for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I call forth your helpers, wherever they are. It doesn't matter within the country and outside the country. From this moment that I'm saying this Mass, they will be restless until they fulfill that divine mandate upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit compel your helpers once again to show up for you. If you are a business person, may the Holy Spirit connect you with good customers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are a worker, may you find favor before your superiors and your subordinates in the name of Jesus Christ. One thing I am so sure of is that this week, God has opened a door that will never be closed. And should there be competitions in your workplace, competition in your business line, and others have been outdoing you because they have altered their consult. Because you are here as my son and as my daughter, I am standing here as a father to bless you and this blessing will turn your life around. By the power that is flowing to you from this very altar, I command every altar that will speak against you to submit and to bow. Oh, I am led to remember the experience that happened when the Ark of the Covenant, seized by the Philistines, was taken to the house of their gods called Dagon. We are told they took the Ark of the Covenant, they placed it in the house of Dagon. By the time they came, Dagon, the statue of Dagon was face down in obeisance to the Lord. They came and stood him up again before the Ark of the Covenant. The following day they came, the thing was first down. And they still insisted. I don't know what they really wanted, why they wanted the Ark of the Covenant. How can the superior be bound to, this, uh, to the inferior? And so they repeated it again, and God was provoked at the third time. By the time they came in the morning, we are told the head of that one was somewhere else. 
the hands we saw here as the legs we saw in other words god in anger came and dismembered that one therefore in the name of jesus christ every power that has been fighting that does not want to recognize the glory of the most high god in your life will go the way of that one by the function of the holy ghost Every inferior power that is exalting itself as a god or trying to rule or dominate over you, we chop off their heads and their hands and their feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are serving the bigger God. Yes. I think that is what Goliath failed to understand. And that's why when he at a point, the battle that was a spiritual battle that God had fought and won. When Goliath now showed up and began to cause David in the name of a defeated God, that God. David said to him, don't worry, today I'm going to give you up, I'm going to chop your head off. And so that was why by the time the encounter came and David said, you might have come to me with spears and javelin and the rose of whatever you have, but I come to you in the name of the Almighty God. That was why in the physical encounter, when the smooth stone of David entered the head of Goliath, the same way that one fell is the way Goliath fell. He fell first downward. And guess what? The same way the head of that one was chopped off is also what David physically did to Goliath, showing what that the spiritual controls the physical. Therefore, this night, by the power of this holy verse, I release victory upon you. And may this victory now begin to manifest in every department of your life, in every facet of your family. May you experience the victory of Christ, the Good Shepherd, in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why now, as people who have such a Good Shepherd, we should relax. We should trust more. Knowing that with his rod and his staff, we are comforted. And that with the shepherd, with us, the presence of the Lord will go before us and behind us this week. And wherever the source of our feet will enter this week, we are going to rule and dominate and possess and conquer. We will conquer territories. We will be victorious physically and spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God says, if God is for us, who can be against us? If the good shepherd is for us, then no power can be against us. May it be so for you and for your family. And I'm wishing all of you a wonderful new week ahead. And to our sister Anastasia, who celebrates your birthday today, congratulations and happy birthday to you. And to all who have celebrated their birthdays in the course of this month, May the good Lord bless you. May this month of Easter, the month of the resurrection, also bring about revival in your life and restore to you everything you've lost. We make this prayer as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy New Week to all of you. Thank you, Father. Please those who are co-hosts, try to mind, monitor those who are making noise and mute them.
Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice on you to be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Please, who is the person responding? Stop sleeping, wake up and respond. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice on you to be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Let's pray. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, the Lord, you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gives you pray. By sending down your spirits upon them like a new form, and they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time it was betrayed, they turned willingly into his passion, into bread and giving thanks, broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this my body, which be given up for you. In a second hour, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was born, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we bought for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your faith, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, particularly on the body and blood of Christ, you be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis and Pope Ignatius and Anselm and bishops and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, be sent to serve their spouse. With the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, may Mary to the grace, to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and self from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I give my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with your ways. And with your spirit. Love of God. You take, you take away the sins of, of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Faithful God, oh faithful God, faithful God, oh faithful God, only you deserve the glory in my life, only you deserve the glory, oh faithful God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve us unto life everlasting. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Seems I cannot at this moment receive you spiritually. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all times giving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all times giving, be every moment thine. All sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all times giving, be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant we pray that those you will be pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. I stretch forth my hands in blessing. I cover you with the grace of the Lord. I declare the doors before you open every step you take this week is blessed and guided by the lord the good shepherd you will find favor before god and before men whatever you lay your hands to do shall succeed any appointment you have this week will yield positive results Amen. wherever you find yourself you'll be the most preferred and the most favored candidates Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the road shall obey Amen. you. 
Yes. By the grace of this altar, you are connected with your destiny helpers. Amen. May God in advance go before you and give godly ideas about you to those who he has prepared to help you. May God order your steps to be at the right place at the right time this week to be the right persons for the right purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down and remain with you both now and forevermore. Amen.